A uh, brief one on meiosis then, uh, by request. Um, there's not really too much to it, you don't need to know a lot. It's usually asked about in comparison to mitosis. So perhaps the best way to do this is, is just as a table first of all, and then take out any of the little bits um, that need doing. Do notice the spelling by the way. Um, it is one of the times that the spelling is really important because the two things you know, you could sort of slip an extra T in there and make it look a bit like mitosis if you've confused the two. Um, examiners are aware of this, so they will really look for this word. If you're talking about mitosis, make sure it's spelled right. If you're talking about meiosis, make sure you spell it that uh, the, the correct way there. It is quite important. So, if we're going to compare two things, if you're asked a question on this, make sure you put both sides of it. So, for example, um, in mitosis, you make two cells. T for two, okay? And meiosis, you make four cells. So there's a difference. That's one difference. Mitosis is two, meiosis is four. You'd have to include both things. Mitosis, the cells are identical, whereas in meiosis, they're non-identical. We'll see why that matters in a second. In mitosis, you have um, the full set of chromosomes. I'll explain that in a second. In meiosis, you only have half the number of chromosomes. So in a human, uh, in a human, the, the full set of chromosomes is 46. That's sometimes called the diploid number if you're going to be very posh. Uh, and it's I'm getting a bit into A level, I suppose here. Uh, it's given the, the symbol 2n. If you've only got half the number, 23, that's called being haploid, and that's just given n. Okay, why is that n two n rather than n and half? And I don't know. It just is. All right, don't worry about that. Um, so diploid for humans is forty six, haploid twenty three. So most of the cells in your body, nearly all of them, really, are diploid. But cells made by meiosis are haploid. They've only got half the chromosome number. And the reason I've put that in is if they gave you a question and said something like, um, let's pick a different organism, gorillas, for example, have normally got 48 cells. So in a muscle cell of a gorilla, 48 chromosomes. Bone cell of a gorilla, 48 chromosomes. Nerve cell of a gorilla, 48 chromosomes. They have half the number in the gametes, the sperm and egg, okay, which is what meiosis makes. I should put that in at the end here. Um, meiosis makes gametes. So that's either sperm and egg or pollen and egg if we're talking about uh, plants and flowers. What's mitosis used for? Um, growth and repairing the organism. If you're going to grow you make more cells and if you need to repair your body you need to make more cells from somewhere. So that's what it does. Okay, So those are the two differences. The key really I suppose is this bit. Meiosis is all about making gametes. So one cell one original cell would undergo meiosis, let's use sperm cells because they're easy to, to kind of visualise. Okay, we make four cells, they're all different, they've got half the number of chromosomes in. Why have they got half the number? Because this sperm cell may eventually, I'm not drawing this to scale, meet up with an egg cell. And when the two fuse to form a zygote, fertilised egg cell, 23 from the sperm, 23 from the egg, we'd end up with 46, we'd have the right number again, assuming we're talking about humans. Okay, Non-identical, well, this is probably quite obvious to you if you've got uh, a brother or sister from the same mum and dad, because although you might look similar and um, you know, the rest of your family might say you look the same, you clearly are not exactly the same unless you're an identical twin. Why aren't you exactly the same? Because the sperm and, and indeed the egg cells are all different, they're all unique, they're all non-identical.